Imagine a man who could see numbers in ways no one else could. A man who, without formal training, uncovered deep secrets of mathematics. This was Srinivasa Ramanujan, a genius from India whose mind worked like magic. One of his most astonishing discoveries was an infinite sum that equals a simple and beautiful answer, or maybe the most weird and unexpected answer math has ever seen. Take the number one, then add two to it, then add three to it, then four, and so on, all the way up to infinity. Normally, if you keep adding bigger and bigger numbers, the sum just keeps growing. Also, the sum of these numbers will be positive, because all these numbers are positive. But Ramanujan did something shocking. He found a way to assign a surprising and finite value to this infinite sum. It is none other than minus 1 over 12. At first, this result seems crazy. How can adding bigger and bigger numbers lead to a small negative fraction? Let us find that out. Okay, let us first consider the following series. 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, and so on. We want to find this sum. So let us label this sum as S1. Now take this minus sign and S1 will become 1. Minus, this will be 1 minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1 minus 1, and so on. So this entire thing is one other than S1 itself. Therefore, we get S1 equals 1 minus S1. Therefore, 2 S1 equals 1, or S1 equals 1 over 2. Now let us look at a different series. 1 minus 2, plus 3 minus 4, plus 5 minus 6, and so on. Let us call the sum of this series as S2. Now again, rewrite this entire series as it is, but shift it by one number to the right like this. Now add both of them to get this as 2 times S2, and this as this will be 1, then minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1, then 3 minus 2 will be 1, then minus 4 plus 3 will be minus 1, and so on. But hey, we have already calculated the sum of this series, which turned out to be half. So S2 equals 1 over 4. Now here comes the real magic. Take our desired series, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on, and call this sum as S. Now again, take this S2 series and place it here like this. Now simply subtract both these series to get S minus S2 equals 1 minus 1 is 0, then 2 minus, minus 2 is 4, then 3 minus 3 is 0, and 4 minus, minus 4 is 8, then 5 minus 5 is 0, then 6 minus, minus 6 is 12, and so on. Take 4 as common from this to get 4 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and so on. But this is none other than S, so we get S minus S2 equals 4S, or take S2 here and 4S here, to get minus 3s equals s2, or s equals minus 1 over 3 times s2. Put s2 equals 1 over 4 here to get s equals this, which is none other than minus 1 over 12, and there you have it. I have simply proved to you that the sum of all natural numbers equals minus 1 over 12. Isn't this super cool? Oh, wait. Let me get to the sad part and break your heart. The result is not exactly true in the usual sense. If you keep adding these numbers normally, the sum just grows larger and larger, approaching infinity. The method we described, where we manipulate the infinite series by factoring and rearranging terms, is not a rigorous mathematical proof and is incorrect. However, in a special mathematical sense, using a method called analytic continuation and the Riemann zeta function, the sum can be assigned the value minus 1 over 12 in a specific context. This value is useful in areas like string theory and quantum physics, but it does not mean that adding the numbers normally gives this result. Now can you figure out why our approach is wrong? Let me know in the comments. Hint is to think about whether the series is convergent or divergent. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, Consider becoming a Patreon 
as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the description. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!